Welcome to Technical Studies. Laying and welding the bottom plate of a storage tank is a tricky job. It depends the size and design. According to the project cost, plate size, slope etc., the designers sometimes change the layout of the bottom plates. In this video, I will show you how to erect a large and most common type of bottom plate layout. The link for downloading this drawing is given in the description. There are 48 numbers annular plates and around 280 numbers full and sketch plates in this bottom plates. Out of this 48 annular plates, 4 plates are larger than the other 44 plates. This extra length is for adjusting the errors during the fabrication and the erection. Here, they gave 15 mm extra length on both ends of the plate. Let us mark the center of the tank foundation and draw the center lines. Draw the annular plate outer diameter circle. You may need to add 10 to 30 millimeters extra to the actual diameter for joint shrinking allowance. Mark the cord lengths on the circle. Take care during marking the cord lines. If you mark more center lines, the cord line marking will be more accurate. After marking the cord lines all around the circle, you can start laying the annular plates. You can start plate laying from multiple locations according to the available manpower and equipments. After welding the annular plate joints, mark the location of the center row bottom plates. Start laying the plates from the ends. Tack weld these plates together. Lay the next layers of plates. Measure the distance from the center line to the edge before laying each layer and make sure the distance is under the tolerance. Lay the remaining layers as shown. Align the plates, lightly tack weld together so that the plates will be in a line. Thank you for watching. In the next video, I will show you the welding sequence of the bottom plates.